we all will have a day when we realize that now you have to take care of yourself and there is no one to take care of your small things and even if you fall you have to get up yourself only mine was the day when i joined asrcc for my graduation but in the end this thing make you less fearful and make you more strong in short the life after school when you leave your home for a college will be full of struggles but this is not the whole story there are many more things you going to experience in your college so this video is about that only my first year at fcc so there is so much to tell and where should i start but wait before i start let's load an intro survive celebrating birthdays going to the popular places of delhi completing the whole assignment in one night making life fun friends sleeping in the classroom making night out with friends dancing in the boys hostel meeting people in the fairs changing the mess option of whole hostel waking up whole night to pass the exams to traveling in delhi metro and buses we did it all college started online which i didn't want it after some time people formed their own group online and i was not the part of any of the groups but i didn't want to restrict myself you know it is very easy for me to be in my comfort zone and spend time alone only but what's the point in getting admission in the best college then honestly speaking there is nothing special here except for the students who join the course i try to personally interact with each one of my classmates i used to feel super awkward in the beginning and it was not very easy but it was sure worth it Then luckily I got along with some good people and we used to interact in WhatsApp and phone calls only. And then you are looking forward to making lifelong memories. And as the first few few weeks are gone, I have joined a few societies. At first, I thought of not joining any society because I was preparing for CA foundation also. So I thought of society as a distraction and applied for three to four small societies. But when I look back at this decision, I believe that my assumptions were not correct. So this suggestion is for upcoming juniors who will be joining Delhi University that try your level best for getting in good societies. So this was the story till the end of February as everything was online. Hopefully we were called back on the campus at the end of first semester. After doing so much hard work in the past few years, it was finally the time for me to join one of the best colleges for commerce in the whole of Asia that is Sri Ram College of Commerce in Delhi University. I could have easily joined any college in my home state that is in West Bengal but I chose a college far from my hometown well you may ask why but you will get the answer of this in the coming 2 years so stick with me I left my home and took a train for New Delhi while I was traveling and watching the outside scenario I kept wondering how my college life would look like will it be worth it will I able to survive in the competitive environment or how will the people treat me but With all the insecurities came a little bit of excitement. We reached Delhi and then I traveled through metro to stay in my relative's house in South Delhi as the hostel seats were not allotted yet and the next day I joined the college. So before continuing further let's first show you the campus. Life at SRCC begins with a mandatory pick with the clock tower but I didn't click myself in front of clock tower as I was too afraid when I came to college in first day so like many I was alone left between a bunch of strangers at an entirely new place since I'm an introvert I found it difficult to make friends at first in college but I found people of my interest and made new friends and I'm very particular when choosing friends So I take my time initially. People who know me can can tell you very well how fun a person I am when I commit myself to a friendship. Moving to a hostel life, it is a place where your things will be less used by you and more by your friends. Student may curse hostel for tasteless food, pathetic rooms, but they will always remember the hostel for the family it gives and the memories they live. 
The first few days on campus were a dream come true. At first, there was not much academic load, so we used to have jamming session in the boys hostel. We used to dance in the hostel room, went to outings together and what not. Outings were an integral part of the first year. If you are in Delhi University and if you are not exploring the Delhi popular sites, then no use of being here. Friends are probably the best thing college has to offer. I actually made a lot of friends which I never thought would have been made by a person like me. I cannot imagine a day without them and the day which was most special to me was when it was my birthday and my friends planned a small celebration for me in the hostel. What a day it was. Birthdays in the hostel are at different levels. Hands down, this was one of the best days. The sense of belongingness that I felt that day was unreal. That day I realized success is nothing if you have no one to celebrate with and if there is one thing that I will miss most about the campus, it's my friend only. Other than this, I went to play football almost 2-3 to three days every week in the evening. Now you guys will be thinking, okay everything is good only, but where is studies and classes part? Don't worry guys, that also I did. I was regularly in both online and offline classes, but I didn't go to classes for one month since I was preparing for CA foundation. And about exams, so boys and girls, as said by already pass out multi-talented alumni of our college, excelling in every, every field. College studies then are done before one month of exams and we follow the same and guess what, we all pass. During exams, the environment will become very serious. Also, SRCC has zero percentage attendance policy. It is not an official policy but they will let you sit in the exam with having zero attendance. So there is no need to attend all the lectures but still classes are sometimes way too long and the course syllabus is also sometimes very hectic. Now let's talk about the other part of the college which nobody talks about. First, you are going to have a lot of stress, you will get demotivated many times after seeing so much competition around you and also don't keep in mind that you don't have to study here, you have to study even more. There will be many events, programs, fest, but the thing is that all these things will come and go but the thing that will remain same is your academic load. Another worst thing about SRCC is that having a FOMO of being in a relationship. Even if you don't want to be in a relationship, but when you see many of your close friends going into a relationship, you will end up feeling self-anxious, hopeless and you will be having anxiety also. And then you will end up thinking, why I am not in a relationship. Talking about politics, there is no such real politics in our college, but when you talk about hidden politics, it's completely there. For POR, that is position of responsibility, people can go to any height. One friend is betraying another friend just for one POR. People will be forming groups and will end up doing groupism and you will be thinking how these small things are becoming so toxic. And these things no one is going to tell you outside SRCC, everything remains within SRCC only. But I would say SRCC has its own way to teach. It taught me how to handle pressure, time management and different life skills in the first year. These are however not very good at imparting knowledge but in college no student is dependent for knowledge on anyone, not even on professors. They will somehow figure things out on their own. Special mention to my best friend Shiraj who is always there for me and I feel extremely privileged by having him at my side. I know I irritated him a lot but after 5 years this day only we will all be remembering. And also, I'm really missing the wives of our first year blog B group, including Adil and Amal. I would like to also mention Shailesh to bear me till this year straight. I was his official roommate in first year and now this year we are official roomies. And how can I miss my Tamil Nadu friend Yukesh, very talented guy. This year he is not in the hostel and without him, hostel fun is not crazy as before. I am really missing you man. Lastly, I want to mention Guru for always unnecessary fighting with me for small small things but I never seen such a kind person like him. And also, talking about seniors, the seniors of SRCC are too friendly. They are more supportive and helpful than your batchmates. And also, I want to mention two of my best seniors, Salik Bhai and Sahel Bhai. Whenever I am with them, I will be super positive and whenever I have any doubt related to college, I will first consult with them only. I am really going to miss them because they are graduating next year. And with all this, my first year was, was over which I never wanted it. And looking back in time, uh, I should say my first year at SRCC was pretty amazing. It is a feeling that you will never experience again. 
it is a golden period of college life no pressure of placements internship and also no melted barrier of clearing some competition i have explored a lot of things made mistakes learned from them met amazing people and got to know a lot of things about myself and it wouldn't be have been possible without these people i had insecurities about myself and i'm sure everyone has i doubted myself at times i feared being judged by others people and not being able to fit in the crowd i still remember the first day when i was on the campus i felt scared as the idea of staying alone a thousand kilometers away from my parents was haunting i was not good at talking with people which might seem a bit contrasting as now i'm making videos on youtube i was also careless most of the times which i know is not a good thing to possess but you know what the good thing is that i got to know myself so much better that i can work on these things and become a better person there are still two more years to go and i am really excited for this journey so was preparing too hard for boards really worth it a big yes every hour every second every single moment spent working hard was worth it remember me in the beginning i was too afraid to click a picture of myself in front of the clock tower well this is how i ended my first year with the with my college family Hope to meet some of your juniors this year.